Wearing red with white, he officially weighed in at 146 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 31 victories, including 11 knockouts, with only two defeats. He comes to us from St. Louis, Missouri, and he brings with him the heritage of the Sphinx Jinx. He is the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Corey, the next generation Sphinx. And his opponent across the ring, Wearing black, trimmed with white, he officially weighs 146 pounds. 25 victories, including 22 knockouts, against three defeats with one draw. Thomas Caballeros de Managua, Nicaragua. Here is the WBA, WBC, welterweight champion of the world, Ricardo El Matador Mayo. All right, the crowd in anticipation that we're going to see a war in this one because they've seen a couple of quick knockouts and then a heavyweight fight that, while they worked hard, didn't really please the crowd. So they expect this showman, Ricardo Mayorga, to do just that and put on his show. Remember, the night that Michael Spinks fought Larry Holmes for the world championship, nobody expected him to win the title either. Nobody expects Corey Spinks, as you take a look at him, to win this title. So a lot going through his mind right now. The KG Southpaw must really work hard on this guy, Ricardo Mayorga. Referee is Tony Orlando. Okay, gentlemen, we in, we'll in. you received my instructions prior to entering the ring. Therefore, I expect a clean, professional bout. Protect yourselves at all times. You understood? Touch gloves, go back to your corner. This fight Touch is sanctioned gloves, by the gloves, New Jersey State Athletic Board of Control and the IBF, the WBC, and the WBA. It's a 10-point muscle scoring system. No standing eight count, no free knockdown rule. And a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight if there's any corner. accidental headbutts or any of that. Uh, I'll explain that to you as it becomes pertinent to our fight. So we're set to go. Here we go. As you look at Corey Spinks. He's the southpaw in red. Mayorga immediately makes gestures, shakes his head. He's the forever showman here. Straightens out his arms, kind of like a guy sitting down to play the piano. This is his office. Bob Sheridan here, Ricky Virgil Hill. He's fighting in the cruiserweight division, former cruiserweight champion, three-time light heavyweight champion. Glad to have you with me, too. So Mayorga goes head hunting with the left hand and the jab. So far, he hasn't been able to catch up with Corey Spinks. Spinks is doing what he has to do. Move, move, move. Trying to land some shots now. He goes fishing downstairs, touches up the body. You see the power of Mayorga as he lets the right hand fly and then almost like a cocky dancer just strolls around and struts around. Yes. He's just trying to keep Corey Spinks out of his game plan. Is it possible, as we discussed, for to take a guy from East St. Louis, Missouri with a background that he comes from out of his fight plan? Well, anything's possible in boxing. All right. As Corey tries to pick it up, they all get comes forward. Nobody's really into anything yet here. They're already going around number one. This is scheduled for 12. We expect it to be explosive. And there's the awkward attack of a guy they call the Matador. And then the Matador is served with grace. And bulls are awkward charging. I call him the bull as opposed to the Matador. Corey Spinks trying to box this guy. He's been awkward attack. with the right hand, let's go with the right hand lead. Corey's handling everything so... so clever. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's doing his own thing. As you say that, you see the awkward angles from which the punch is coming. And he knocks him down, actually pushes him down. Now Tony Allen is a roll. Put the guy down on his knees like that. Don't you dare hit him. Don't get disqualified. My instruction to Mayorga is he almost stops. That Spinks, that's his stop. Wow, the right hand of the chin of Corey Spinks. Loads him up with a shot to the body, does Mayorga. Inside of 40 seconds to go, Mayorga has landed whatever blows have landed from very awkward positions. It's almost like he slaps that right hand. He's just trying to drop him. Uppercuts. Those two right hands taken on the 
glove to protect the left side of the face of Corey Spinks. I don't know what you're doing there to try and get this guy off stride. Great! Snap he punches. just attacks and like the full one of Yeah, he really does. He throws uh, caution to the wind when he, he comes to Now, there's no caution at all. And as I say that, a straight left hand down the middle from the south ball. That's the power shot by Corey Spinks. But Mayorga, with all his arc, this is out by Corey Spinks. How about that? But the belly's with the hand in the back of the head and unleashes it. An unmerciful right up again. It's like they were shooting after the You got to stay after smart. The belly, right? You got to stay smart. Right in the corner. Okay, you got to keep him turned. You can't stop in front of him. Okay. Hey, referee! Tony! Tony! Tony. 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 Hey, he, he, look, you see what's going on, man. Stay smart and keep him turned. Corey's defense is his head movement, and I think he's, he's, he's sticking to his game plan very, very well. Try, try to slow down my orga by uh, the, throwing the left hand to the body. He's just got to stay out of situations like this right here. And that's a situation right there that could have got even beat her for this Mr. Mayorga to You got to box early. You got to box early and move early. Okay? Okay? Okay. Go to los pasos. Un dos pasos adelante. Okay? A little bit of Ricardo Mayorga's corner. Tony Orlando says, hey, get back there. You'll have plenty of time to fight. We're coming up to round number two in the undisputed Wesleyan Championship, the unification of the WBC and WBA held by Mayorga and the IBF held by Corey Spinks. It's an exciting time in this welterweight division because this guy, Mayorga, wild as he is, is exciting to watch. And the crowd here in the Atlantic City, World War Hall, is enjoying the excitement of watching this guy's style. But the heavyweights didn't provide, these guys are providing. They stiff the pan right down the middle that time by Corey. I agree. Uh, Corey's doing a wonderful job keeping him up big. And you see what he's doing with the side to side room, a lot of head movement and huge on the replay that we showed. Most fishing downstairs taking the left by Mayorga. Mayorga just hasn't opened up here in the second round of all. He's just sort of coasting for the first minute. And he's not much of anything. Up the middle, he bounces around. Corey makes a miss and then makes him pay with a light left hand. Doesn't face Mayorga whatsoever. Remember his last fight against Forrest? He just stood flat foot in the center ring. Said, go ahead, hit me in the chin. Which happened. Forrest hit him in the chin, but he didn't bother him a bit. I mean, you talk about a cocky guy. By the way, in the first part of this round, Corey Spinks is out boxing the order in this round. And this is exactly what Corey Spinks has to do. Good. Well, he's going to have to do this for 12 rounds because um, the order is going to stay right there. That's all he wants to do is, is land that big shot. Corey's got to stay offline, keep stepping around him, and then uh, look at the order not be able to find his feet. Well, what you heard, folks, in between rounds was he's got to keep turning him. And turning him, he's doing it. He's doing that by circling. He got off the left hand that time, which for the south ball is his power shot. Now there's a lack of the right hand down the middle by Mayorga when he throws it. Sometimes he looks like he's snapping at it in a very awkward style. But for the first two minutes of this round, it's Corey Spinks winning the second round. Now you see the assault all wild, cross, all awkward, nothing lands. And again he attacks, leans on his man, but he doesn't do any damage. Mayorga, Corey Spinks, very smart, not trying to charge this guy, and he can't. If he, if he changes his style, he's going to get knocked out. Oh, without a doubt, he's got to be very careful. He's got to keep doing what he's doing, in and out, circling him. He's executing perfectly to this point. Staying away and stepping inside and stepping away. That's all he has to do. And he's doing it perfectly in the second round. Yes, he is. Mayorga avoiding the double jab. There's the jab in the face of Mayorga again. So Mayorga basically has done nothing in the second round. Except catch shots. Come, come, All right, at the bell, Mayorga wants to roughhouse it. Good thing you didn't hit him. I have took a point away. And, and Tony Orlando, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that at home, or in fact, Mayorga understood what he was saying, but what he said was, if you had hit him, I'd have taken a point away. And that's the second time that this guy can get disqualified on. Yes. He hit him and knocked him down, you know, at the referee's discretion. 
you got to be very careful. They're not, they're not going to any of the, the rough uh, tactics Mira, está muy de, está muy that Mioga uh, generally does. And, um, he's got to be very careful. That's two warnings now. He's saying you got to work your right hand more. He's absolutely right. I talked about him throwing the right hand uh, down the middle. He's saying you got to get the left hand going in your uppercut as well. I agree with you. All right, we're coming up to round three. Bob Sheridan with Virgil Hill here. You're watching the undisputed welterweight championship fight, the unification. Ricardo Mayorga with the WBC and WBA belts and Corey Spinks with the IBF belt. This is round three. It's scheduled for 12. And here's Mayorga opening up a bit now. And Mayorga winning the first round and Spinks winning the second round. But that's academic because you get the idea that any time Mayorga wants to open it up, he can show the power. And right now, Spinks is fighting a perfect fight. Oh, he got caught that time. That time he felt the power. It blinked his eyes a little bit. He comes right back. And it makes Mayorga real part. He says, come on, let's mix it up. You know, he's a guy. If I'm in there with him, I would have killed him right now. You know, you do that to me and show me up in the house. Kill you. Well, that's his whole play. I, I say that literally, folks. I don't mean take his life away, but I mean, I don't want to hit you so bad. And that's what he's trying to do this thing, right? He's trying to take Corey out of his game plan, get him to stop moving around and fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, he could suck at me in two seconds. Somebody did that to Diego right after. But Corey Spinks is a professional fighter, and he knows what he's doing. It. As I say that, Mayola loads up a shot, makes him pay from side to side. The way the body is a Mayorga, he looks far in there. And Spinks has uh, some eight inches in reach advantage. And for the life of me, doesn't it look like Mayorga has a longer reach? I think it's because the way Mayorga stands, he's, he's more square opposed to um, Corey. He gives you more of a shoulder. And again, Tony Lynn right on the spot there when they had their off arms hooked up and one free arm. Mayorga goes with a right hand lead. Catches Spinks but doesn't hurt him. This is a better round number three for Ricardo Mayorga. And Spinks is unable to do anything against the Rocket style this night. And he's doing what he has to do. He's just trying to box and box him. But he's not you know, piling up any points in this round. It's tough. Well, there's a nice exchange there. Mayorga gets the excitement of the crowd, but Spinks landed the shot. Touches him up downstairs. Man, this is that big deal. What's that? You can just tell by his gestures what he's thinking. Yeah, I'd go right back downstairs, though. Came forward with that lunging right hand. He has a tendency, does he, to want to hang on with his left hand and bang with the right. A certain guy many years ago named Muhammad Ali used to get away with that on the light. Look at this! Corey Spinks makes him pay! The crowd loves Mayorga, though. He's a showman. As wild and awkward as he is. If you watch this guy in films and you didn't know he was a couple two versions of the welterweight belt, you said this guy can't fight at all. Oh, he's he, well, he's definitely not a guy you want to model one of your young your fighters have. Mark is a queen. <laughs> but it works for him, and that's what's important. He spanked Corey Spinks okay. right on the nose with a stiff right hand, an awkward right hand, and that's a Mayorga round. in front of this motherfucker for nothing. Get your shit off and get on around the corner. Get your shit off, bail out. You bailing out right or you bailing out left after you touch it, all right? As long as you boxing, you good. But you got to stop stopping in front of him. Yeah, well, right here you're looking at, well, he's right there, Mayorga, he's getting frustrated because Corey is not staying in one place. He wants to suck him in and try to get him to stand there. That's why he's holding his hands down and all that other nonsense. But Corey's doing a wonderful job. You know, Mayorga's the type of fighter that even if he just does social and around 
He's the type of guy that catches the eye of the judge because if he's catching the eye of the crowd, he's catching our eye, he's catching the judge's eye. So anything that he does, Corey Spinks is always going to have to do that and, and, and some to offset it on the scorecards. By the way, I've got my order leading by one point as we go to the fourth round that's on the the Argus steals rounds. Oh, no question. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is round four. Scheduled 4 12. Nobody's been down. Nobody's shaking. And it's exciting in that this guy is so awkward. Been warned twice about hitting things down and hanging on and hitting. That looked better than it was. It really went underneath the chin and caught a bit of his chest and just got Corey Spinks off balance. But the people in the seats of far, that looked like a very punishing blow. Exactly. Spinks doing a nice job of boxing this guy, but I don't know if he's doing enough scoring right now for it. Well, he's got to stop waiting. He's got to he's got to use effective movement. And what I mean by that is when he's moving, he's got to be doing that, moving his jab around, moving his left hand around. At this stage, he didn't seem to be stepping up into his jab, driving off the back foot. And now he, he did a nice jab, counter punch from the order coming in. Those, those hands were flailing way outside, and especially in the just kind of popping as he came in with a little short, crisp shot. Chopping left hand that time by Mayorga. Mayorga, you don't want to step straight back. You're going to have to go side to side because he's coming right down the pipe. Mayorga went the distance in his last fight against Vernon Forrest. Prior to that, he knocked out Forrest in three rounds. Then it's all stopping him. About six or seven fights in a row inside of three rounds. Right now, we're in the fourth round of this fight. Corey Spinks. And Mayorga know he's going to have an easy time of it. At least in his eyes. And Mayorga's eyes, it's like a play day to him. He said it was a sparring session. Let me tell you something, folks. It's more than a sparring session at this point. Corey Spinks trying to make it as difficult as possible for this guy. And because of the awkwardness, you can judge yourself yourself. It's not difficult to Look at this! Spinks catches him inside with two good shots. But it doesn't shift Mayorga. Mayorga's awkward punch sails up over the shoulder for him. Tell you something, and I'm learning, this kid Spinks can fight. He can fight. He comes from a long line and family that can fight. Dad, his uncle, former champions of the world, both heavyweight champs. And of course, Michael, perhaps one of the greatest in the world, Hill. Was a great light heavyweight champ, but this agreement. He's certainly, but I give him one of the great heavyweight, light heavyweight champs of all time. So are you, by the way. Oh, you. thank you. All right, the bell ends round number four. That's a closer round. Well, I think. Well, I think. You know, it's one of those rounds where you want to steal. Well, well, I'm a the classic boxer myself. I kind of give the edge to the boxer. Okay. And if your scoring is right so far, this fight's dead even after four rounds, even though all the hooting and hollering is in favor of Ricardo Mayorga. Spinks is certainly doing a nice job hanging in there and doing better than hanging in there. He's may have won a couple of rounds of this fight, namely two and four. Here we go to round number five. I'm Colonel Bob Sheridan with me. Virgil Hill, former four-time world champion, three-time light heavyweight and cruiserweight champ as well. Still fighting. Still top 10. Still wants another title shot. And right now we've got the unification of the Wolverine Championship here as Mayorga stands in showboat. You're seeing a little frustration on Mayorga. Uh, he wants Corey to stand and fight. Well, Corey's too smart for that. He's not going to stand and slug with this guy. He doesn't have to. His forte is boxing. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. And Virgil, some of other guys like the way Spinks fight, another example is uh, Chris Bird, and the way you fight, not really crowd pleasing sometimes in comparison to a showman like this, but it was very effective in your career for you. Yeah, I mean, again, we 
here in the States, we like the big punch, big knockout and stuff. Our, our, our styles are more conducive to Europe, European styles. Right now, Corey making the over look even more awkward than he is at different times here. Watch your head, watch your head, Frank. All right, we're coming up to round number six. Bob Sheridan, Virgil Hill. You're watching the unification of the welterweight championships. Ricardo Mayorga and Corey Spinks. And they took a point away at the end of the round. So we had it even after four. Mayorga was winning the fifth round. And he loses the point, so it becomes a 9-9 round. Therefore, I have a 47-47 in my scorecard. That's a close fight. Um, that's too bad for Mayorga. That, that, that might cost him and later. Well, we'll see just how it goes. Mayorga is still filled with confidence. He landed a real heavy blow during the course of that fifth round, but it was all nullified by hitting after the bell. And I made the point, Virgil, that... You know, at some stage, after three warnings, once for hitting when a guy was down, once for hanging on and hitting, and once for hitting after the bell, and then right at the bell, I don't know whether he was in the process of throwing it. When he has the bell, he's going to turn and drop his shoulder, walk out of there. You do. You, 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 you got to be able to control that, especially if you have two warnings. He seems to get ignited when he hears the bell. He's a great guy to watch. Him. I'm enjoying this. I hope wherever you're watching around the world, you're enjoying watching it as much as we are bringing it to you. It's the sixth round of a scheduled 12-round fight. Corey Spinks is not boxing this guy right now in the sixth round. He really is. He's not letting my ogre turn this into a slugfest. Oh, the break! Get back, get back. That's what my ogre would like to do. And he's tried to do it. And Corey, just having a terrific sixth round here. Past the halfway mark. Matador. It's not happening, man. 
should be the ball in my opinion. They're doing a nice job out boxing him here. Stage manager Casey Sipes sitting against him tonight. Amazed by his intelligence in there. He's a very intelligent fighter. Measuring, he's skipping forward, wants to throw the right hand. For some reason, he couldn't get it off with. Right? Well, he just, you know, Corey's not staying there for him, and he's got to plant and set to take a big shot. That's why the movement is so important. Get in there, be throwing when you're coming in, and slide out of there, move away your angle so this guy can't do what he just tried to do and throw the big shot. Oh, it's, it's pinnacle for uh, Corey to do this. I mean, that way, when Mayoga comes forward, he can counter punch. Well, the type of boxer you are in a terrific boxer in your career, everything is proving his way, and all of a sudden the break right hand is uh, terrific for Mayorga at the end. But is that one right hand good enough to offset the boxing throw the court It really depends on the, uh, the referee or well, the, the, the judges. judges. I don't think so, Virgil. I'll tell you why, because it didn't shake him in any way. I mean, it looked great. Here's the end of the fifth round when they took the point away. You see Tony Orlando moving in there. And Tony frustrated by what's been going on, so he immediately orders the point taken away. I don't know. I think that Spinks controlled like two minutes and 55 seconds of the sixth round, and I think you got to give him the sixth round. I agree. And if that's the case, and our scoring's accurate, Spinks could be out in front in this fight right now. Every time you touch him with that stick, he's throwing over. Most generally, right. you touch him with something, you make your move. Yeah. Touch him again. An old timer, you, you want to fight the last the 30 seconds. It's because that's the last question the judges have. So we have coming up, this is Bernard Hopkins. Don't forget the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Bernard Hopkins, 42-2-1. Coming up that uh, victory over Murad Hacker. And, of course, the big one a couple of years ago against Felix Tito Trinidad, where he unified the title for the first time. And a long, long time. As Mayorga landing the looping shot. Come on, come on, get back in that head. Let's go. And again, Tony Orlando says to me, oh, you got to quit hitting and hanging on and hitting with it. By that time, he slipped and immediately Tony Orlando waves him off. That was the situation there. Drop. Get him out. See that? The way he came in there and then Corey beat him with the punch. And if Corey had a little stronger punch, this guy would be having some serious problems. I would agree. But Mayonga has tried to pick up the pace a little bit more, throwing more right hands in this seventh round, having a difficult time against the southpaw. Now, we mentioned, you know, as an amateur, that southpaw did give him problems. You see him hanging on and hitting again? Tony Orlando looking at his face again and shaking his head with a bit of disgust, but he doesn't want to disqualify this guy. He Hook is getting away with some stuff here. Stop! Stop! Look at that. That time he has the elbow. And the forearm and the throat of Corey Spence. He's a street fighter who wants to intimidate his opponent. And he's not going to intimidate Corey Spence. I believe that Corey's been there before. This is the seventh round. And while my order is piling up some points here in the seventh round, it's the most difficult round. It's the most difficult round for Corey Spinks. Nice quick hands again by Spinks. Stop! Oh, we're punching. Chopping body shot inside. Boy, being tied up and being hung on to or anything like that doesn't affect me at all. He just throws punches any time. I tell you, Tony Orlando, it's a very tough fight for the referee. He's got to get in there to make sure that nothing happens to ruin what is a pretty exciting fight for the crowd in here. The soccer style of Mayorga is more than just interesting. It's so crowd pleasing. It is, but he's missing with those big shots. Not, when you miss a big shot like that, it'll drink the energy. Get off the head, man. Let's go. Well, that's a very interesting point because you know, with all except the last couple of rounds in the last fight against Ron and Forrest, it looked like after about seven rounds, he might have been running out of a little gas too. And there's a pretty good pace in this fight. And he just got cracked by Corey Spinks. Corey whacked him. They exchanged shots. Now, as the bell ends round number 
seven. I don't know if that shot's enough to give that round to Corey Spinks because Mayorga really landed them all blows during the course of the round. So I'm going to give that round to Mayorga. Mayorga's trying to fight the last 30 seconds of uh, the round. You know, if I'm scoring, and again, it's only an indication of the way we see it, but I've got this fight dead even after seven runs. I don't know about you, Virgil, but I didn't expect it to be quite this close. Although, you know, I talked about Dan Raphael from the USA Today, a very knowledgeable boxing writer who knows these guys and watches film after film after film of everybody. I mean, Corey Spinks is an outstanding boxer. I mean, after a couple of rounds, I, you know, I was just impressed because I really haven't seen that much of him. This guy's a good fighter. If Corey had a little more power... It would, uh, it might be a different kind of fight. He's hit the other flush. Let's go. Check it out. Yeah. Well, the guy's got 31 victories and only 11 knockouts. We knew that coming in. But he is a terrific boxer. He's New York with stopping right. shots. Right. So he ties right. him up. Okay. Works okay. the crowd a little bit. Tony Orlando, the referee, is a little bit more pleased with what he New York chose to break that one up. I see what you mean about him being squared up by his reach looks uh, longer. Yeah. Shoulders side by side practically, so it takes away from the big reach advantage. And I like to measure these guys myself to see if the official statistics are really that far apart, too. But I see what you mean, Virgil. When he squares his shoulders up, he really does negate any reach advantage that Tony Spinks may or may not have. Spinks does have long arms, but what's the fun of The guy that's 5'10. I like a basic just gives you the body. Yeah. Well, you take a look at his body and it's in tremendous shape. And here he is opening up again. Spinks doing a nice job carrying a couple of shots and then ducking underneath the pile up. He digs a shot to the body. And that was a kidney shot. Uh, not a kidney shot, a liver shot. Right on top of the liver. And you, know, you get your guy down there to the body. And I'll tell you this, Mayoga must have a tremendous body. Feel. Look at this. Spinks doesn't want to turn his back on this guy. Oh, there's a straight right hand, and it might have staggered Spinks a little bit that time. He's a little bit loose on the knees. He's back on his heels. There's no quit in this guy, but Mayorga knows he's hurt it. And he has hurt him. But the left weight's in the heels right now before he Spinks, and he does what he has to do. He's hurt, and he has to hang on. That's the first time he's really been shaken. And he's not 100% back yet. He's been complaining and he nails him again with a straight right hand. Spinks trying to hang on a little bit here. He's still a little bit loose in the knees. He's not 100% back yet. He also realizes that he's trying to force this fight heavily right now. With less than a minute to go in the eighth round. And this Spinks right back as he does have his legs back now. That cocky look on the face of Mayorga right now. You saw the first couple rounds of the fight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, let's go now. I like this beauty that we're having from Mayorga. So this stage, smoking doesn't help you any. No matter how much you want to joke about it. It's one of the worst things an athlete can do. Anybody can do it. He pounds him a couple of times and then puts him down and goes in. But as a matter of fact, his legs did look weak on that. So in the back of the head. Out of time, and the belt ends the eighth round. That's a real good round, and one of the most definitive rounds of the fight for the Wow, wow, wow. Damos la grasa. Fue el aire duro. Fue el aire duro. No, esto fue el aire. Espera, no echamos. Fue el aire. Ricky, estamos tan muertos, me. Right here, caught Corey. Go flush him. Didn't catch him solid. Oh, missing with some big shots. That was almost with his palm. Um, but it hurt him. Norga definitely possesses a lot of power. Well, you know, that, that shot is kind of the difference in the fight if it's as close as we have it. Now, there's no telling how the judges, Gene Grant, Arthur Ellenson from the WBA, and Johnny Keane, who 
as uh, Leon Spinks the concerned uncle. Let's go. All right, here we go to the ninth round. Look at Mayorga slightly out in front now in this fight. But it's close. Round number nine from the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is the unification of the Welterweight Championships between Ricardo Mayorga and the Green Trunks. Black Trunks, I should say, and Corey Spinks in the red and white. Corey has fought a heady fight so far. But the power in the eighth round of Mayorga finally caught up with him. has been down and only that one occasion to see the fight of his shake and the judges see it the way we do. It's dead even after nine rounds of boxing. Championship rounds coming up. 10, 11, and 12 on deck. And after that is the undisputed middleweight championship of the world between Bernard Hopkins and William Joppy. At Boardwalk Hall, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with me. Virgil Hill. Saca lateral derecho para meter la derecha en gancho. Ok. Y este es el one two. Ok. Ricky. Here we go to the 10th round. And remember this is 12 round championship distance. Ricardo Mayorga and Corey Spinks. Spinks, of course, in the red trunks with his back to you. It's Mayorga in black to the left of your screen. Come on, fellas. Go up, boys. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Or if he had any power at all, he'd be winning this fight. So hard to hit this off the side. Spinks cut them real good. A little rough house tackles by Corey Spinks. He's St. Louis, Missouri guy. Gets him up in his shoulder and bangs him in his Gets him off that shoulder with a left hook. They open it like that. A little concerned look in his face. This isn't the face that we saw this guy in the first two rounds of the fight. He's determined enough. And he lands a couple of glancing blows and Corey Spinks break, now break, wants break, to turn break, up the face. Break, 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 break. Oh. Break, 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 he says. Oh, he's doing a great job. This is a rough fight to referee, I want to tell you. Matador attacks with the right hand. Because he got to the one minute remaining mark. He says same things like off the head and break. I wonder if the Yogan is certainly not speaking in English. I don't know what break means, huh? And if he doesn't speak any English at all, he knows where the bell is. Exactly. <laughs> Mayorga slowed down a little bit. Now, as we say that, Mayorga comes on. Looks like he lands some of the heavier blows. But the shots that he's landing not taking a toll. And again, you folks judge for yourself, but look into the eyes of Mayorga. He doesn't have that fucking look. Now the mouthpiece comes out of the mouth of Corey Spence. So Mayorga goes to the neutral corner and Corey gets a little bit of breathing. Does this uh, help anybody here? I think it actually helps Mayorga. I think it does too, because I think that he's, uh, he's put a lot in those big shots, and he's missed a lot of them. Mayorga attacks again, comes with the uppercut, nice move this time by Mayorga. And he may have hurt him with that uppercut, because Spinks has to hang on. Just about out of time in the 10th round, and they both throw at the belt. Look at disgust again in the face of the referee. But they were both throwing that time. Hey, hey. who are you scoring that round for, by the way? That's too close to call for me. Yeah, that, that's too close to call. It's 7.30 in the morning in Mosul. Mm -hmm. These troops are staying up late. Beautiful shot. Uh, again, Mayorga missing with those big shots. Corey coming away with with the cleaner uh, cleaner exchange. If he had a little more power, it could be a lot different, different fight. But still, I think on boxing-wise, Corey's doing a beautiful job. He is doing a sensational job. That one was a little too close for me to score, so I'm going to have to give that an even round. That becomes important because the judges won't score the even round. Nine out of ten times, they will not score an even round. So, Mayorga on the assault again. And again, after ten rounds, as we're in championship territory now, this fight is most interesting because I have a dead even. Corey Spinks has been 12 rounds three times in his career. Against Larry Marks in August of 01. Against Pichu Rio in the first fight. And against Pichu Rio in his last fight. Which he won the title. So he can go the distance. Great! Step back, step back. Let him out. Well, obviously, he comes in great shape. And we know that the order can go the distance because he did just that in his last fight, 12 rounds. Against Vernon Flores. It's in the 11th round. Oh, he's still hold, hold, trying hold, hold, to beat him with the punch, showing his hand speed. Who do you think won the first minute? I think it's, I think it's pretty, pretty close. I think Mayorga's uh, fighting with a little more desperation. Oh, he's taking that. another point oh, away. That hurts. That could be critical now in this fight. If it's as close as we think it is, that this hurts. guy has lost two points. It could be very critical. Hitting and holding again. Come on, quit doing that. And he says it again. Really 
the 11th round here. And look at this. Corey Spinks trying to hard box this guy. Watch your head. And if this is an even round with a point away, our Spinks won this. It's a two-point round. But Mayorga may be doing too much. Now he slips again. He was off balance and was held up by the ropes. He was just off balance when he was down. There was no punch there. And Tony Orlando waved it off. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, hey. Hey, is lucky yourself. there. Very lucky that he saw it. Continues to assault. They call him the Matador. He comes in like a bull. And he's having a good round. But it, it, like he had that terrific round back in the fifth when he lost his first point. He was winning that round definitively. He's winning this round definitively, but he's not going to get the round. It's going to be an even round, 9 9. That time he slipped again. That was a clear slip in the corner. Very wet now this time of the night. There have been several fights here tonight. There's a logo in the corner. Oh, really. And the two active corners, it's very, very wet this time of the night. Closing seconds of the 11th round. All right, the bell ends the 11th. Now, there's an example of a round I think they all go one. And it may be a 9-9 round because he had the point taken away. Yeah. I'm going to go against you this time. Uh, and you think Spinks are boxing? That's I do, right. because... Uh, we'll show you the loss of the point here. Oh. There's the hand behind the head. He did it more flagrantly at other times. But right. Tony just seen enough. He caught him enough time, so that time he took the point away. I still think Corey, is, even though Miorga was... Uh, Aggressive, he wasn't as effective. And I'll tell you, if you're right, it's a it's a heck of a point, Virgil, because if the judges see it that way, that makes it a 10-8 round in favor of Spinks and could give him enough to win this fight. I still now my scorecard. I've got a dead even going to the 12th round, and according to the way you have it scored, you would have Spinks slightly up front in the fight. Yep. It's that close, folks, as we go to the 12th and final round of this fight. This thing can go anywhere. And the crowd in the boardwalk hall is on its feet. This time he warns Corey Spinks, don't pick him up like that. Bad enough trying to keep this guy eligible the close of the fight. I see what you mean, because he does a great job. Wait, kind of wait, he is wait. Go. No matter what happens in this fight, Corey Spinks is going to be recognized as a great fighter. But without the win, it doesn't mean much. Because this guy goes on and just fights mega fights now. And again, he slips down as he spins him down with the elbow behind the head. I'm glad we got a referee with the experience of Tony Orlando. Because Spinks has been off his feet on three different occasions, and my, my recollection is right. All the times he's been pushed down, but slipped on the one occasion, and off balance in another. The Tony Gaines got him a break on the Break! Break! Finally, he gets the word. For the first time, the referee says break, and Mayorga broke clean. He is fun to watch. He really is. He's very entertaining. Rob reacts with everything he does. Corey Connor punches him. All of that stuff, he throws a full round at the side of his head. Great! Okay. Oh, what a frustrating guy to fight. Halfway through the final round. There's a big shot landed by Great! No punches, step back, step back, step back. No joking around for the last four or five rounds by now. And all business. I'm sure he feels the... For urgency, he know where they, they don't know where, they, where he's at. Oh, oh, Corey Spinks is doing the one thing they need He is a terrific boxer. Any guy that can box with this guy like this has done a great job. Oh. They only just sort of team up on Corey. And, I mean, he's done to the best job of trying to punch him on occasion, but they all just forcing this thing. 
seconds to go in the fight. Break. No contact. No contact. Is Mayorga one? No contact. No contact. I think, uh, I think Corey. And down he goes. And again, he's punches hit. the punch. And Tony says no. That time he get hit on the side of the body. That is a questionable one. But it won't be questionable in the judges' eye when they score 10-9 in favor of Mayorga. They won't be able to give him the 10-8. But just the mere fact that he hit him with that kind of a shot might be definitive enough to give Mayorga this fight. Inside of five seconds to go in this fight. Mayorga really on the assault here now, and it's all over. Both guys think they've won. I think Corey took this round off. Oh, it was a big mistake because if my scoring is accurate, I've got to adjust this close. I got my organ in spite of the fact we had two points taken away from him, winning the fight 114-113. But don't forget, we had a couple of even rounds. A lot of questionable things were on in there. So we're going to have to leave this one in the judge's hand. But as far as I'm concerned, it's just almost too close to call. How about you, Gregor? I'm going with uh, Corey. And you're just giving it to Corey round. by one, one, one point. Round. So here you are. Final round of the fight. Yeah. Right there, uh, depending on whose bylaws, a punch is a punch. If you throw a punch and you're on your way down, it's still a punch. Yeah, I, I you know, I can look at the replay, and even when we started the live, even if it's not effective. Yeah, I mean, he hit, we hit him with a punch, and, and he caught him, and then and he went down. But Tony Orlando, who did a terrific job in a very difficult fight to re very. referee, I'm not going to knock him for anything he did in that fight. It was tough. So I've got it 114-113, and my pal here, the former champ, has it. 114 113 the other way so we'll see how the judges have it. and again don't forget they could have it may august way because just of the electricity and the aggressiveness and sometimes hey, they don't really care about the effectiveness they they have the action of the moment and the excitement of the moment and the eye just towards the most colorful fighter he may have won it uh, more handsomely but i think that the points that were taken away from him have a distinct effect in this fight, so it could go either way or it could be a draw. Yeah, that? Well, that will always be the question. All right, here's Michael Buffer. Will be the undisputed welterweight world champion. Arthur Ellenson scores the contest. 114 to 114. Eugene Grant scores it. 114 to 112. John Keane has it. 117 to 110. For the winner by majority decision from St. Louis, Missouri, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Corey, the next generation. about that <laughs> you were right Virgil the judges went for the boxing Corey Spinks has done it that is a major upset in the world of boxing Corey Spinks is the